Hi everybody, I am Giuseppe Laira, a PhD student of Rensselaer Polytechnic Institute, and I'm going to present our work about modeling and control design of an off-bridge converter using the Modelica language. Here you have an overview of the presentation. In the introduction section, the motivations and the contributions of this work are presented. Then a short description of the applications and modeling of an off-bridge converter is given. The section about modelic implementation and control design illustrates the core of the work. After that, the simulation results are shown and the conclusions are drawn, giving also future work options to expand this work. The motivations of the work are listed in this slide. With the enhancements of power semiconductors, the application fields of power electronics have been extended to electric power systems too. The main reasons are the development of power electronics technology, the development of control strategies, stability issues due to increasing energy consumption in existing electric networks, increasing penetration of renewable energy sources that requires better efficiency and reliability of the electric infrastructure. This work focuses on the implementation and design of a simple power electronics DC-AC converter, the half bridge, that can be considered the starting point for the implementation of more complex power electronics models. A couple of control strategies of the output current are considered with two different representations of the device, that is the average and the switching model. In contrast with the current practice, the use of a modern object-oriented equation-based programming language like Modelica allows to show that it is possible to perform implementation and studies in the same field where traditional commercial softwares have been commonly and extensively used with additional benefits that the language provides. The models used in this work have been chosen on purpose from the literature to show that it is possible to obtain comparable results with this alternative tool so that a reader from the power engineering community can quickly realize the value of the modelic approach. The main contributions of this work are presented in this slide. They are the following. To illustrate the power engineering community the value of adopting Modelica for models implementation and typical control design tasks with the use of records. Open access to the models of this work on GitHub so to allow a novice to get familiar with the Modelica language. The advantage of using Modelica and the Modelica standard library is represented by the fact that the models can work in different software environments like Open Modelica, the MOLA, Wolfram System Modeler, Simulation X, etc., without the need to load the external third party libraries, in contrast with the current tools used by the power engineering community. Now, talking about the applications, the half bridge converter can be seen as a basic building block used to model more complex power electronics systems. For example, it can be used to implement either three-phase voltage source converters through parallel combination or multi-module voltage source converters through parallel series combination. In the figure of this slide, you have an example of the parallel combination of half-bridge converters to build up a three-phase, three-wire, two-level voltage source converter like a STATCOM, that is a static synchronous compensator. The modeling approach of the half-bridge converter is illustrated in this slide. Two models of the converter are used in this work, the average model and the switching model. The non-ideal effect of the on-state resistance of the switches, current generators for the average model and transistors for the switching model has been considered. The implementation of the models using Modelica language has been performed in the software environment Daimola. From the average the equivalent circuit of the off-bridge converter, the dynamics of the AC output current can be described by this equation, where R and L are the parameters of the AC system to which the converter is connected to, and R on is the on-state resistance of each switch of the converter. The AC current I can be considered the state variable, and VT the control input, since it can be changed by varying M, the modulating signal. As mentioned before, the objective of this work is to implement two models of the off-bridge converter in Modelica language. In this slide you can see an overview of the structure of the Modelica package created to model all components and systems. The different averaged and switching models with and without controls are listed at the top of the package named half-bridge converter. The first two models of the list are the switching and averaged models without controls, 
the second couple of models represents those with API controller, and the third couple of models represents those with the modified control strategy. A record package is used for tuning the API controller through the lambda method. Given the input parameters of the system in the record called plant, the calculations of the PI parameters are performed by the formulas in the record named PI lambda, and the results are stored into the third record called PI par, and used to set the values of the PI controller parameters. The package components contains all the components uh, used in the models listed at the top of the half bridge converter package. The components are, are created only by using the Modelica standard library, as already mentioned. Now we are going to have a look at the different systems and components. The average model of the half bridge converter implemented in Modelica is presented in this slide. An exploded view of the switch block is also illustrated on the right. It should be noticed that for the average model, the gates and the, their signals are not in use, but they are already implemented for the switching model of the off-bridge converter. This will make easy to change the type of converter in the model of the whole system by simply changing the class of that component using the Modelica feature of replaceable. In this slide the switching model of the off-bridge converter implemented in Modelica is given. A detailed view of the switch block is also provided on the right, where you can see the transistor, the anti-parallel diode and the gate for the firing signal. An AC system with the average model of the off-bridge converter without any control is illustrated in this slide. Subsequently, this system has been used to implement control strategies for regulating the output current measured by the current sensor in this block diagram and indicated in the open loop system of slide 7. The sinusoidal source is used to calculate the duty cycle D, necessary for the modulation factor M that is one of the inputs of the off-bridge converter block for the average model. The output of the off-bridge converter is connected to the AC system characterized by the components R and L. The current sensor in series with R and L is used to measure the AC output current I that is fed back at input uh, of the converter and that will be controlled in the following steps. The same AC system of the previous slide with the average model of the off-bridge converter but with the PI control is indicated in this slide. Detailed views of the control block are also provided, showing how the records have been used to set the parameters value values of the PI. Finally, the AC system with the average model of the off-bridge converter but with a more elaborated control strategy is given here. The control block includes a gain and three blocks of transfer functions corresponding to a lead compensator, a lag compensator and a resonant control. These modifications of the controller has been introduced because with only a PI controller it is not possible to track a sinusoidal reference wafer without error, but only a step reference signal. This can be clearly seen in the slides of the simulation results. The control of the output current can be obtained by creating a closed loop including a controller that takes as input an error signal generated by the difference between the output current I and the reference current I ref. The compensator KS takes as input the error signal E and gives as output the signal U that is divided by VDC over 2 to compensate for the voltage gain of the converter. In addition to that, the magnitude of the modulating signal must be lower than 1, so the saturation block has been introduced in the block diagram. Depending on the reference signal and the performance to match, different compensators may be used. In case of a step function as reference signal, a proportional integral compensator can be considered and is described by the equation of Ks. The open loop transfer function is uh, given by the equation of G open S. The open loop system uh, has a stable pole at P equal minus R plus R on over L. For the typical values of R, R on and L, the pole is quite close to the origin, giving a slow natural response. So to improve the open loop frequency response, the pole can be cancelled by the zero of the PI compensator. So the compensator can be chosen such that its parameters satisfy uh, these equations. 
where uh, tau i is the desired time constant of the closed loop system. The closed loop transfer function is given by the equation of g closed s. Tau i should be small enough to have a fast response of the current control. 1 over tau i should be smaller than the switching frequency of the off bridge converter. So usual range of tau i is uh, 0 0.5 and 5 milliseconds and it can vary between uh, depending on the application of the converter and its switching frequency. In this section the simulation results are presented. The parameters of the system are indicated at the top of the slide. We start with the results obtained using a step signal as a reference with the parameters given in the slide. As we can see, the AC output current does not track the step input for both systems with the average and switching model of the off-bridge converter. The final value of the output AC current is much higher than the step input that cannot be clearly seen in the plots due to the big difference of magnitudes of the two curves. Introducing API control with the parameters indicated in the slide, we can see that now the system is able to settle at the value corresponding to the step input value. The initial negative overshoot of the current for the case of the average model is due to the initial conditions of the system. With the switching model there are some oscillations of the output current at the initialization of the system when the step is applied. Now we can analyze the simulation results changing the source of the reference signal with the sinusoid having the parameters indicated in the slide. The behavior of the systems without any control is not able to track the reference signal for both the average and the switching model of the converter. Introducing the same PI control as in the simulations with the step reference, we can see that the behavior of the system is better with the average model of the off-bridge converter than with the switching model. They both present errors in amplitude and phase compared to the reference, but the average model looks like more aligned with the reference. Introducing a more elaborated control strategy, the behavior of the system with the switching model is better than the one with the average model, since the tuning of the control parameters has been performed on the switching model. In order to get the behavior of the system with the average model similar to the system with the switching model, the gain of the controller has to be increased by about 50 times, as we can see in the bottom plot. Summarizing the work, we can say the modularity of blocks of components and records allows for an easy reuse in different models and consequently running quick simulations. The simulations show that the introduction of a feedback control improves the reference tracking. A specific combination of control parameters can work for a system with the switching model of the off-bridge converter, but not for the one with the average model or vice versa. Some benefits of modelica language are replaceable and really clear features because there is no need to set up different models for the same system when using different representations, so to have simplified model development and management. The work can be expanded taking into account that for the tuning of the controls other tools can be considered for the estimation of their parameters. Other control strategies and other aspects like voltage distortion, THD content, grid synchronizations, etc. can be analyzed. The implementation of a three-phase converter will follow this work that represents an initial step. Thanks for listening.